If you haven't noticed lately, Acura has been dropping some not so subtle breadcrumbs about them getting serious about performance. They came out with a new NSX, they went back to the racetrack, now they take a huge step in the right direction with these. So this is a 2021 Acura TLX and TLX Type S. It's back. Let's check them out. So here we are with the 2021 Acura TLX. And like I said, this is another huge step in the direction that Acura wants to take to reposition itself as a performance brand. We'll talk a little bit more about that in just a second with this guy, the Type S, but here is the TLX and, and they share a lot between the two cars. Let's talk from a design perspective first. It's all about proportions with the 2021 TLX and what they've done to enhance the proportions of this car and make it look a lot more aggressive. So we're lower, wider, and longer. Start with the roof. The roof is half an inch lower, which kind of shrinks it down to the ground. And then the wheelbase is longer and the total car itself is longer as well. There's an additional 3.7 inches between the wheels now to elongate the car. And as we zoom in right here, you'll notice a much longer dash to actual ratio. So that's important for a couple of reasons, mainly from a design perspective, it just makes it look a lot more aggressive. There's about seven inches more in that ratio. We get what Acura calls the chicane lighting signature. So that's gonna be in the front lamps and the tail lamps as well. Uh, you have a revised version of their front grille and then every one of the cars is going to come with this shield around the front logo that has to do with the safety kit and the standard safety equipment that comes with every TLX. So as far as the face goes, every car from the base trim and up is pretty much going to look like this. Um, those jewel LED headlights are standard. Like I said, the lighting signature is standard as well. The A-Spec TLX, we'll talk about a little bit more in a bit. That will make things even more aggressive. It'll black some of the features out and then some of that uh, A-Spec language translates over to the Type S as well. On this car, or I should say every TLX is going to come standard with a two liter four cylinder turbo that's gonna be good for 272 horsepower. So with that engine, Acura is telling us that the torque figure is much higher than the outgoing standard engine as well. So they're really excited about the low end torque that the car produces. 272 horsepower, and that'll be paired to a 10 speed automatic transmission. Both cars will use that, the Type S and the standard TLX as well. You have this really strong character line that goes alongside the TLX, and you'll actually notice that the door handles are not completely level, I guess is the right word, but they trail along the character line. So the door handle on the back of the car is actually going to be a little bit higher up than the front. And as you move alongside, you can see the line that it takes. Through photos, it looks pretty severe, but once you get up to the car in person and experience it in the middle, uh, it actually looks really nice and elegant. It's actually pretty subtle. So inside the new 2021 TLX, you're going to see a lot of RDX. Now we found out when Acura uh, unveiled that smaller crossover in their lineup, the RDX, that this new infotainment and, and center console was going to be it. That was going to be the new statement uh, for the rest of the cars in their lineup. And the TLX is the next to adopt that. And then on top of that, you just kind of have a new design direction. So you have these new sharper angles in the interior. You have new materials to choose from. It's definitely very Acura feeling in here. And that starts with this 10.2 inch display, which is up top. And it works with this little touchpad. Um, people who are familiar with new Acuras, especially the RDX, will know that you have to push on the touchpad where you want the screen to light up. So in this case, if I want the phone in the top left corner, I'm going to push on the top left version of the touchpad. There definitely, definitely is a learning curve to come with this system. When we've tested uh, RDXs in the past, we don't love it at first, but eventually it does become fluid. You do pick it up uh, and it becomes a little bit easier. For the TLX, they also moved the volume uh, and the seek button from higher up on the dash and brought it down next to this touchpad. We have a wireless charging pad and then this new larger uh, palm or wrist resting area so you can use the touchpad as you want. Um, and then the rest of the interior in this advanced model is really nicely trimmed. In the advanced model, we have open pour wood that's right here. And then uh, in the lower trim levels, it'll be a uh, 
plasticky, it'll kind of match this area. You also see this ambient lighting. I do like that they piped it in like this. I have to say, if you look in other cars like Mercedes products, their ambient lighting is sort of behind elements and it kind of back glows and it looks a little more subtle. Um, they have us in a studio here and they just shut the lights off a little while ago. And when it's dark, the ambient lighting is definitely really bright. So I'll certainly have to spend a lot more time with the car to see what it's like at night. But right off the bat, this is some bright ambient lighting. They're definitely not messing around with this. So here in the gauge cluster, you have a seven inch display. Um, it is not a full digital display. Acura said that that might be coming down eventually but for now it's seven inch between the two physical dials the materials right off the bat do feel good i like right here the sort of brushed metal in the center console it doesn't fingerprint so it seems like the only obvious place where fingerprints are maybe going to be a thing is this center piece um, but even this is actually not fingerprinting too badly granted they're wiping this card down about every 10 seconds right now all right, let's talk Type S. So the nameplate Type S is returning after a 10 year hiatus. It's coming back on the 2021 TLX. There's a lot we do know and there's a hell of a lot more that we don't know right now. What we do know is that this car is going to use a three liter turbocharged V6. It's going to sit transverse right here under this new elongated hood. We don't have power figures just yet. All the performance data with this car is gonna come closer to the car's launch, which should be spring of 2021. We do know that it is going to use a specially tuned version of the same 10-speed automatic that comes with all the rest of the TLXs as well. Uh, but the Type S has certainly has its own look. It has some of its own performance equipment. Um, from a design perspective, you can see, I like that they have the two cars next to each other right now, just how much more aggressive the Type S is. It's going to use a lot of the cues that will be shared with the A-Spec as well, especially some of those darker features, the darker front grille, uh, the darker intakes, even the headlights have a darker inlet in them against the, uh, the non-A-Spec cars. Now we can't get inside of the Type S, they have all the windows blacked out right now and we can't peek under the hood either but we do have some of the images that Acura shared with us in this b-roll so you can see some of it and what the interior will look like of course it'll share a lot with the standard car there'll probably just be um, some different material choices maybe some carbon fiber in there but largely will carry the same look uh, as this TLX advance we're gonna have two 20 inch wheel options this is one of them this is rocking all season tires that are 255 section and then down the line, Acura is going to offer a performance summer tire that will come with a Y-spoke wheel design that draws inspiration from the NSX. Uh, this one in person looks really cool. That extra wheel size, the red car is wearing 19 inch wheels. This has a 20s, definitely looks a little bit more aggressive. Around back, this is what we saw when they released the teaser image last week. And of course you start with these quad exhaust tips. Oh boy, does that look good. It's probably the best angle of the Type S for sure. You have this new aggressive rear diffuser as well. The spoiler is actually going to come on the A-Spec as well as the Type S. And Acura let us know that you will be able to option it in carbon fiber as well. This is done in a nice piano black. But just look at the presence of it. None of it is too aggressive. None of it is overdone. Um, the most aggressive angle is probably this rear three quarter, to be honest with you. The, the exhaust is the most standout design feature on this Type S. I wish I had more of the performance information for now. Of course, we'll find that all out eventually, but for now, just kind of look at it. This is going to be a big deal for Acura fans that love the original Type S that came on the TL not too long ago. Um, and bringing it back, it looks really good in person. So the 2021 TLX will be going on sale, hopefully, Acura says right now, in the fall of this coming year. And then we'll have to wait until the spring of 2021 for the Type S variant to come out. But this is a very early first look at the 2021 Acura TLX and Acura TLX Type S.